Hi, I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. In today's video, we are going over 20 celebrity eye conditions that you may or may not have heard of. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'm an ophthalmologist and oculoplastic surgery fellow. In today's video, I want to go over 20 eye conditions that some celebrities had throughout the years, throughout the ages, that you may or may not have heard of, so let's get into it. If you guys do like this video, by the way, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and follow me over on Instagram. And full credit for this article and this idea from the American Academy of Ophthalmology, this article is on their website. I'll link it down below in the description, so let's get into it. Number one is actress Mila Kunis, who had iritis, or what we will sometimes call uveitis, which is an inflammation inside the eye, and she then subsequently developed a cataract from that, caused her to have very decreased vision from the cataract. She ultimately needed surgery to have the cataract removed and an intraocular lens put in its place so uveitis in and of itself from the inflammation can cause the cataract to form it can take the body's natural clear lens and make it a cloudy lens or the medications that are sometimes used to treat uveitis or iritis like steroids can in and of themselves cause a cataract to form Number two is Claude Monet, the famous painter, the impressionist painter. Claude Monet developed cataracts as well. For his cataracts, they were just age-related cataracts that developed as he got older, and it caused him to not be able to see colors as vividly when he was painting, so he ultimately ended up needing cataract surgery, which when he had cataract surgery was a very different procedure. It required stage surgeries. They had to keep him in a post-operative period where he was laying down, not moving. He had sandbags around him to keep him from moving. He was a very non-compliant patient in the post-op period and he was left a fake it meaning they did not replace his lens with an artificial lens because they didn't have them at the time and so he had to get something called a fake it glasses which are like very thick glasses to help him see it was a long saga for claude monet to regain some usable vision number three is famous pianist and musician ray charles who had untreated glaucoma glaucoma if left untreated can cause the vision to decrease slowly over time or quickly in some instances where the peripheral vision constricts until the point it can completely disappear. Number four is Ella Fitzgerald, a jazz singer, and she lost vision from diabetic retinopathy. Diabetes can affect the eyes, as you may know, and it can affect it in a number of ways, whether that's non-proliferative or proliferative diabetic retinopathy. It can cause fluid to accumulate under the retina and cause decreased central vision. It can cause new blood vessels to grow into the back of the eye. It can cause retinal detachments, scarring a lot of problems. Number five is President Abraham Lincoln, who was known to have strabismus, which is a misalignment of the eyes where one eye does not point in the same direction as the other. There can be a variety of reasons for this, from nerve palsies that control the muscles of the eyes to congenital strabismus, which occurs in children that may be born with cross-eyed or eyes that don't line up appropriately. But Abraham Lincoln was known to have strabismus and when he would get excited or very worked up like he did in some of his speeches sometimes his eye would tend to drift off number six is bono who has glaucoma again a eye condition that causes progressive and irreversible vision loss but that is part of the reason that bono wears his tinted glasses is for his glaucoma number seven is author stephen king who had age-related macular degeneration this is where you can have damage to the retina typically the central retina you can have degenerative changes in the central macula or the retina this can be a dry macular degeneration Generation or a wet macular degeneration. Wet meaning that you're starting to get blood vessels growing under the retina that are leaking, causing fluid to leak. That's where the name wet comes from. That type is treatable with injections. Number eight is Sugar Ray Leonard. And if you had to guess what a boxer was going to get from an eye standpoint, it's going to be a retinal detachment. The trauma to the head can cause breaks, small little tears in the retina that can accumulate fluid under them and peel the retina off, kind of like water seeping behind wallpaper. So a retinal detachment is the eye condition that Sugar Ray Leonard suffered from. Number nine is basketball player Stephen Curry, who actually has keratoconus. This is an eye condition where the front part of the eye, the cornea, the clear bubble on the front of the eye, actually doesn't have the appropriate curvature that it should, and it can lead to the inability to see as clear. Steph Curry actually underwent corneal cross leaking which sort of stops this progressive corneal degeneration this change in the front structure of the eye that can be progressive over time that cross-linking can stop it he had corneal cross-linking to prevent further worsening of it number 10 is missy elliott who had graves disease thyroid eye disease this is a condition where an abnormality with the thyroid gland in the neck can actually have effects on and around the tissues of the eye it can cause them to bulge be red it can cause double vision it can cause a lot of issues it can even cause vision loss in its very severe form but missy elliott was known to have graves disease number 11 is Kristen Bell, who was also known to have some strabismus similar to Abraham Lincoln, where one eye would tend to drift at times, 
Sometimes people can't actually control or compensate these. So when they're focusing, sometimes the eyes will stay aligned, but if they lose focus or they're tired, the muscles can kind of slowly let the eye drift over time or at the end of the day, that can sometimes happen where you decompensate. Number 12 is Jose Feliciano, the musician known for Feliz Navidad, a great song, is known for having childhood glaucoma or congenital glaucoma or what we might call juvenile glaucoma in some instances. And he had vision loss from this, so this can affect kids in a different way than it sometimes affects adults, but that is what he suffered from. Number 14 is Venus Williams, the tennis player who suffers from something called Sjogren's syndrome, which is an autoimmune disorder that causes dry eye. And so this is treatable with things like drops, sometimes I'll tell like a serum where the blood is taken out of the patient. The serum is spun down and made into special eye drops as one form of treatment. But Sjogren's syndrome being an autoimmune disorder does have effect on the eyes causing uh, sometimes very severe dry eyes. Next, next is Joseph Pulitzer, the newspaper publisher known for the Pulitzer Prize suffered a retinal detachment as well. Next is Stevie Wonder, who suffered from retinopathy of prematurity. This is a condition where babies that are born prematurely sometimes have not had the chance for their vessels in their retina to reach the edges of the retina to supply oxygen. And when that happens, the parts of the retina that aren't getting a good blood supply can call for more new blood vessels that can grow in weird ways and cause a lot of problems like retinal detachments and a lot of major issues. So that's retinopathy of prematurity. That's something that gets screened for sometimes in babies uh, that are premature by our retina specialist. The painter Georgia O'Keeffe was also known to suffer from age-related macular degeneration, similar to Stephen King. Next is musician Fediwa, who actually had what he claimed was congenital glaucoma as a child. He said it occurred after an accident or an injury, so whether or not it was true congenital glaucoma or it was more of a trauma-related glaucoma that developed that ultimately caused him to have uh, the damage to his eye. Um, not sure, but definitely some sort of glaucoma from some incident in childhood. He elected to not undergo a nucleation when the eye became tysical, so it became smaller, white. He didn't want to have it removed. He was happy with the way it looked, and it was kind of his iconic signature. So uh, in those cases, no need to remove the eye if it's not hurting, if the patients aren't bothered cosmetically, leave it alone. Next is Louis Braille. This one's a little more historic, the inventor of Braille. He actually had something called sympathetic ophthalmia, where he had an injury to one eye and then later developed antibodies that tried to attack the bad eye, the injured eye, and actually in doing so attack the good eye. That's something called sympathetic ophthalmia that can happen after trauma to the eye or even surgery to the eye. All right, guys, I've lost count. I think we're around 20. We may be at 19 or so. Hopefully you found that interesting. If you want a video going into any one of those particular diseases or one of those celebrities uh, talking more about their specific eye disease uh, in detail, we can do that. I just want to give a brief overview uh, because it's kind of interesting. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, check out this other video I did talking about uh, Justin Bieber's eye condition that recently developed. Check out that video. And if you enjoy this content, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.